What's up guys, Big Clyde 34 coming at you today with Cars and Clyde, the antidote for your automotive hangover coming at you every Monday at four o'clock Eastern time. We talk about everything in the car community and this time we're getting into five kinds of people that you will see out in the street racing scene. Allegedly, I've been around my fair share of street races, so this should get pretty interesting. Oh yeah, by the way, if you were coming here looking for a truck video, I was gonna work on the truck this week, but I got a nice little letter in the mail from the county and basically someone was complaining about my backyard they didn't like my trailer so i had to get a pad together for that but anyways if you want to complain you should complain but just direct all the anger toward whichever neighbor was a big enough coward to not come say something to me about their problems that they had that's besides the point today we're talking about the top five uh well not top five just five different people that you'll see on the street racing scene and we're just going to hop into it with number one number one is that guy who doesn't bring a car, but he has a buddy who has a car that's racing, and he's really loud and he's talking a lot of smack. Either that, or he has a buddy who's not there, or an uncle or a cousin who's not there who will race somebody who will who will mess you up, but the car isn't there, and this is just a guy like, dude, you're, no, you're not impressing anybody. Number two is the complainer. Oh my God, you are so annoying. Guys, sure, money might be on the line and it might be intense and this and that. Nobody really wants to lose, but there are people who complain about every little thing and then they can't take their loss. When they lose, they'll come up with a whole rap sheet of different items as to, you know, this person was doing that, this person was doing this. You know, the other guy crossed the center line. Yeah, he crossed the center line about an eighth mile ahead of you. If you complain about every little aspect and can't just get a race off, then you just might want to consider either making your car faster so that you don't have a reason to complain when you lose or just not showing up. By the way, as we move from number two to number three, if you enjoy this video at any point in time, I would greatly appreciate you smacking that like button. Uh, YouTube's kind of pounding me with those yellow dollar sign, non-advertiser friendly things, as you might have heard, is plaguing everybody and likes really help. So thanks for your like. Anyways, on to number three. Number three are the people who like to fight. Guys, the last time I got in a fight, I was a freshman in high school, all right? If you're an adult, you're 30 years old, you're 40 years old, even if you're 20 years old, and you're out here trying to fist fight somebody, you need to seriously evaluate your priorities in life. This isn't just in street racing or racing, because I don't want to make it look like people are out there fighting, it rarely happens, but when people do fight, you just kind of look at them and go, like, go, what, what are you doing? Like, what, like, what are you doing with your life that you're trying to fist fight somebody as an adult? Number four, we're talking about the hustlers. Yeah, that's right. And basically, in street racing, it's it's a grudge race. It's for money. You don't want to let the other guy. You don't want to show him your whole hand. But there comes a point where there's a line in the sand that pretty much every respectable racer knows about between hustling and just lying. Um, there are people who probably started out as hustlers and picked up racing instead of people who picked up racing and kind of hustle a little bit. But these people start out as hustlers, they cross the line, all they want to do is win and it sucks the fun out of it. This is kind of the argument between, you know, money and racing, no money and racing. Uh, if you're good at hustling and you win money, I mean, good for you, I guess. It's just kind of not great for the racing community to have people out there who are just all out hustlers and don't want to do anything but win money. Things just become a giant mess. You know, if you get hustling, I guess it's kind of on you because you should do your diligence to know, you know, who you're talking to, what information you're getting. But on the other hand, if all you're doing is aiming to win money and you don't even get joy out of the race anymore, odds are that, you know, it's it's probably not something that's benefiting the community, the people around you. Enjoy the race a little bit. And last not but not least, God bless you if you fall into this category. We are talking about the racer. Now you might say to me, Clyde, you're at a street race and and if the people are racing, doesn't that make them a racer? No, the racer is the guy who just wants to get out there and race. Sure, they may hide their hand a little bit, like I said before, but they're not gonna go out there just looking to make money. They wanna go out there and race everybody. They wanna get in fair races, close races, see how their car stacks up against other cars. You know, even if you're gonna get beat, 
you're not afraid to take a loss. You just want to race and get out there for the competitive nature and for the whole sport of the whole thing and not only money and you're not going to fight people. What are the other things we said? You're not going to complain about every little thing. You're not going to do an all out hustle, which I mean, you know, every once in a while, if you're street racing, you come across a hustle, but it's not going to become your lifestyle. These are the people who just want to get out there and run their car, not their mouth. Yeah, I threw that shameless plug in there. It's on the back of this hoodie if you want to go buy one, run your car, not your mouth. Anyways, guys, those are the five kinds of people that you'll see while street racing. If you know one person that falls into one of these five categories, either send them this video and don't tell them which one they fall into or tag them in the comments if you're watching this on Facebook. And remember to like this video. I appreciate it very much. Thank you guys for watching. And also, I want to hear if you know any other stereotypes that you see around the street slash grudge racing community. Leave it in the comments below. Anyways, guys, this is Clyde. Thanks for watching. Go be a racer. Don't be any of those other ones. So, yeah. Later, guys.